Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you love to shop Lux, welcome. Every week I upload two new videos on designer handbags, shoes, and accessories to help you decide whether or not you want that item to be part of your collection. So please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a new video. Also, please follow me on Instagram at shoplux, which I will be linking down below. For today's video, I'm going to share with you my favorite bag in the winter and this is the Dior Wallet and Chain. So let's get right into it. So this is one of the older bags that I have in my collection. It is called the Dior New Lock Pouch or I refer it to as the Dior Wallet and Chain. It is in the black lambskin leather in the beautiful Dior Canage pattern. For the sizes, the depth is 1 inch by 8.5 inches in length and 5.5 inches in height. Okay, so the New Lock Pouch and the Dior Promenade Pouch are so much alike with regards to the style and size. The difference is that the prominent pouch doesn't have the piece of leather on the flap and the cannage pattern is all over the sides while the new lock doesn't. It is in silver hardware and Dior is engraved on the pinch lock closure. So pinch to open the bag and then align and push to close. There you go. The chain drops 21 inches. And I like that the chain looks nice and it feels solid, heavy, and well made actually. I can say that the chain is not too long. It is actually just right for me with my height being five foot two. The chain is detachable. You can use it as a shoulder bag, cross body bag, or a clutch. Um, you can also style it however you want. You can use a shorter chain to make it a wristlet or just take it off and use it as a clutch. So let's open the bag. It has a pinch lock closure and it opens to a black leather interior. This is a pretty old bag and it is one of my go-to bags. As you can see, the leather on the inner flap has markings already and the canage pattern has already flattened. It has a very soft leather and structure. Inside has one big compartment a slit pocket and it says it's kind of hard to see it says made in Italy and serial numbers and it has six card slots And here says, mm, here it says Christian Dior Paris. Although this bag is old, I would say that this is my favorite. I always reach for this bag and this is the most used in my collection. I wish I was able to take care of it more. I actually want to take this to um to get cleaned and restored you can see that the bottom part has deformed and is already folded that's why i always stuff it with bubble wraps when i'm not using it to somehow keep its shape the strap is already dirty and looks tarnished probably also from spraying cologne uh, I'm not sure how to clean this. I will do my research on it, but honestly, after what happened to my Gucci belt bag, I don't really want to touch my bags anymore. You would also notice 
um, some scratches on the lock because most of the time when I'm wearing it I don't really pay attention when I close it so the hook scratch the surface of the hardware but other than that those few signs of wear this bag is still my favorite okay so let's see what we can fit inside this bag actually reminds me of the Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire you'll see why I love this bag because even if it's so small, you can fit a lot inside. Most of the time, I don't really use the card slots. I always bring my key pouch from Louis Vuitton and the Hermes Bastia for my change and cash. And I also bring in my phone and my car key. I would also put in my lipstick and a mint, hand sanitizer, and also my mask. When I close it, you'll see how it keeps its shape nicely. I love that it can fit a lot inside. Okay, so let me just take out the items that I put in and I'll show you what I was able to fit inside. Now let's do some modeling shots. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you my friends on the next one. Bye!